What's up y'all, Quentin here with Catfish Karma. And in today's video, I've got a cast net review for you. I've been using this, the SS Series 10 foot cast net from Fitech for six weeks. I'm gonna tell you all about it right after this. All right, y'all, as I mentioned in the intro, for the last six weeks of fishing, I have been using and abusing this net. This is the SS Series 10 foot net from Fitech. The SS Series nets are kind of their middle ground in terms of price. This is a 3 8 mesh, one pound per foot, 10 foot net. Um, I've got a lot of nets. I've got like a dozen nets, but I picked up this one partially because I didn't have a 10 foot net and I, and I wanted to, to start throwing 10 foot nets more. But also because a lot of you guys have asked about some of the bigger nets, some of the nicer nets. And when I bring up that Signature Series net that I did a review on, it seems like the price uh, just, and it's just not really there for a lot of people. They wanted something more in the middle ground. That's it. That's this net. Um, I've thrown 10 foot nets before this one, but it's the first 10 foot net that I've owned. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not doing a triple load. I'm not using my teeth. I'm not getting all wet. I'm loading it with one hand. I'm throwing it with one hand using the 50-50 method, which I've taught many times here on this channel. You guys can check that out. Just search my library for 50-50 cast net method. But if you want to, if you want to see a video of me doing a how-to specifically on a 10-foot net, I'll do it. Hit me in the comments below. If I get enough requests for it, I'll do it. Uh, durability on the net, I have no issues. I have had it hung up in trees. I have had it hung up in bushes. I don't think, I, I don't think I've repaired it yet. I don't think it's torn any holes in it. It's holding up pretty good. Um, it opens up great. It might be the easiest opening net that I've got. I didn't do anything special to break it in. I think I soaked it in water for a few hours, like the night before I brought it out for the first time, uh, and then just you know started chunking it. Um, you know, and one good thing about this thing that I that I probably was about to forget: fatigue. My signature series net that I have that's 1.7 pound per foot. Man, it'll smoke my arm in like just no time. Hey, I got a fish. Let me handle that. Oh, look okay. at We got another fish. Yeah, we got two on. was caught on shad that I caught this morning in that net. Let me get this other one. Oh, another blue cat. This one, uh, I think it was skipjack that I caught in that net this morning. A lot of people say they have a hard time catching skipjack in a net, but I'm here to tell you, a 10 foot net does make a difference. I seem to catch more skipjack now that I have a bigger net than I was catching in like my six, seven, and eight footers. All right, so I don't know exactly where I was in the review process here. But let me just say this, for a mid-price net, a net that everybody can afford, I highly recommend it. I literally cannot come up with a bad thing to say about it, and I've been trying, you know. I've had six weeks of using this net and thinking about this net and preparing to do this little review. I haven't come up with one bad thing to say. Uh, initially, I was concerned that the fall rate on it would suck because it's a 10 foot, 3 8 inch net that's not real heavy and so I thought that might be a problem it's not it falls at the same rate as my seven and eight footers that also have one pound per foot sure it's a little slower than that signature series which has 1.7 pound per foot but it opens up bigger so that compensates for some of that fall rate change and another big factor a really big factor that's really made me enjoy this net is fatigue there's almost zero with this net my 1.7 pound eight foot signature series net will smoke my arm in no time flat like eight or ten throws and i i'm in bad shape i need a serious break and don't want to throw it anymore at all that day but i've thrown maybe 30 32 33 times in one morning with this net before 
uh, just, you know, really getting comfortable with the net and just kind of trying a couple different things with the technique, how I throw it and, and searching for bait. Almost no fatigue. Like a 20 to 25 throw session is absolutely no problem with that net for, for me. So there you go, guys. A mid-price net, one pound per foot. This one's a 3 8 10 footer. It's literally my favorite net that I've got. The mono on the Signature Series net is softer. The hand line on the Signature Series net seems nicer, as does the swivel, but uh, bang for the buck, that's the net. I highly recommend it. If you guys are looking for a, a better net and a bigger net than you might be used to, highly recommend that net. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you'll tune into another one. Maybe subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.